welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to use GIMP image editing software to remove a background from a picture. So, in this folder, I have a picture of this lady, and we want to remove the background from around this picture. Here, it's all this blue and white sky. We want to remove that. Once we've removed it, we're going to place that same picture on top of this, so the lady will be standing on this right hand section next to the swimming pool so to do this we need to download the software first so we're going to go to google and type in GIMP and we need to download this software you just click on the link click on this red download and select the relevant operating system and then click the download button and install the software. Once you've done that, we can then load up GIMP Image Editor. And we're gonna open up this picture and drag and drop it into this blank window here. So just make sure that you have this tool, tool options here, toolbox options and the tools options. To do that, you go to tools and toolbox and that will load this section up here. If you already have it, you don't need to do that. If you go to windows and toolbox, uh, dockable dialog and click tool options, that will load this bottom section up. And windows, dockable dialogs and layers, we need layers here as well. So those are the three things that we need to see on the screen. I'm gonna click on this fuzzy select tool and I'm going to set the threshold to around 20 just around 20 I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to say transparency to alpha channel and then I'm going to select a part of the image so let's select something in the sky up here when we select it you can see it's drawing around the picture the best it can um, and then we can just simply press Control X or the delete key and that will remove that part of the image. And we can continue selecting parts of the image, quite large chunks, and remove them quite quickly. So focus on what's quite close to the image. All of this stuff we can delete quite quickly uh, using the eraser tool afterwards. And we focus on the main sections to get rid of those first. And we do need to do a bit of work on this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but the more time we spend on this, the better the image result will be. So we put some effort into this. So once you've got most of the bulk of it done, we're going to have to go in and do some fine tweaking. But we'll get most of it out of the way. And we'll come back and do some tweaking in a moment. So we've got you know quite a lot of it cropped out already or cut out already and once we've done that we need to click out of the canvas I'm going to click out the top here in this grey section up here somewhere and that will remove any selection in the image I'm going to click on the razor tool and I'm going to make sure I select one of these two options here one of these two brushes uh, I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to scale up the brush to make it quite large you can see the circle here it's quite large and that will allow me to raise quite a lot of the image quite quickly. So where all of this blue is still showing, I want to get rid of that quite quickly. And we'll get rid of some of this as well. And I want to hold down the control key and then use the mouse wheel to zoom in. So I want to get a bit closer to the picture. Just make sure we get rid of all this blue. And when we get close to closer to the person, we want to reduce the size of the brush. So we want to make it a bit smaller. It's a bit hard to see. Maybe you can see the circle there. And then we can get a bit closer and get rid of this blue. We'll make it a bit more smaller. This is going to take a bit of time to clear.
clean up the image but quite a lot of the work has already been done for us see the line is quite clean so it's pretty good and we'll make this brush a bit bigger and then we can start getting rid of some of these if you make a mistake and you go too close in then you need to press ctrl z to undo you can go to edit undo eraser ctrl z so if you go if you go in and you end up doing something wrong just press ctrl z to undo that and what i tend to find is once you've done a little section and you're happy with it let go of the mouse button and then click it again separately that way it will save a little bit of history as to what actions you're doing rather than doing a long long piece of the image and then make a mistake when you undo it you end up having to undo all of your other work that you've done previously so let the mouse button go every so often and then uh, you'll keep a little history of what what stuff you've erased and you can edit them and undo it quite quickly without having to uh, go back and redo all your work again so that's a little tip for you so we can move up to this side and this won't be perfect normally I'll spend a bit more time on this but I just want to give you the general idea of what we're doing We'll come back and fix some of this stuff up here in a minute. So normally I'll spend a bit more time doing this stuff. Because uh, I'm just showing you in this tutorial, I don't want to make it too long-winded. Um, See when you've got all these little blue stuff inside here, it's easier to use the the, the uh, fuzzy tool to get rid of that. So we'll do that in a moment. Let's make this a bit smaller. We can go in here and just start clearing this out as well. I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of this blue. This won't be perfect, but It'll be pretty good. It'll be okay. So using this magic wand, we can then just go in here, select this blue that we don't want. It'll get rid of most of it for us. So whenever you're using this fuzzy tool, so when you select something, if you want to unselect or deselect anything, you just click out of the canvas up here. So we've got a rough cut now, it's not perfect, you know, I would have probably tidied this up a little bit more. I don't want to spend too long showing you just repetitive tasks, you know, I'm sure you get the understanding of what you want to try and achieve here. Just be careful when you're selecting what you're selecting quite easy to end up, end up selecting something you don't want to select and you end up deleting a part of the shoulder or something like this. So 
be a bit careful what you're selecting. And we do a little bit more work on this. So we can zoom back out and we can see we've, you know, we could tidy this up a lot more, but as a basis, it's not too bad. Uh, we could spend more time on this and tweak it and make it perfect, but I don't want to make this tutorial too long winded. settle for that for now again I would have tried to do some more final work on this but using the razor tool and the fuzzy select tool we've pretty much removed most of the background just little tweaks here we're zooming in we could have tidied up a bit more but let's just say that we're pretty much happy with that for now um, I'm going to select this move tool so we'll click on the move tool and what we'll do first of all is grab this background and drag and drop it onto the canvas as well. It's going to sit on the top layer. You can see this is why we need the layers. You can see the backgrounds at the top and the, the ladies below it in the picture below. And we want to resize this slightly because you can see there's a gap at the top and the bottom here. So we select the resize tool, click on the picture background, hold down the control key, and we can drag from the corner a little small amount. And holding down the control key will constrain and make sure it doesn't get squashed the picture itself. Click the scale tool and take a few seconds to scale it. And then we can select the move tool and we can move this image to cover the whole canvas. And then we're going to click on the background. And click on this green down arrow and that will move it a layer down now this picture is sitting on top and what we might do is click uh, on so we click on the move tool and we click on in fact what we we'll do is we'll click on the main here this picture of the lady at the top layer and we're going to click on this tool the flip tool and we're going to flip the image uh, yeah we'll click on this picture here Flip the image over and maybe we'll move it slightly to the left. And I think that's pretty good. Looks okay. So let's go to File, Save As. We'll save our work. We're just going to save it as main.cfx. This is the XXCF. Uh, this is the file extension for. Uh, GIMP software so if I save this inside my folder I'm going to have this file here so if I want to go back and edit this image maybe move the position of the lady a bit differently change it around even put a different background then I can just open up this file here and I can re-edit the image um, we can call it the make file the original file I'm going to go to file export and we're going to call it main edited and then file types here is file selection type I want to select JPEG and click export and we just leave it as 100% compression for now and now it's exported and close down GIMP and we can open up the image and we can see our final result so it's not perfect perfect we could have spent more time on it and cleaned up these this hair and just make it a bit better but in general it's not too bad and we didn't spend too long doing it so that's how we remove a background from a picture and we've also shown an example of taking that image and placing it on a different picture 
So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you've got any questions, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or any of the social networks where I post this video. Um, I will be doing another slightly different tutorial similar to this one but where the image has a plain background if it's a plain black or plain white or any sort of flat colored background with a picture over the top then there's a much quicker way of removing that background this one happened to have the water and the sky so we, we, there wasn't one consistent colored background so we had to use those techniques um, but in the next tutorial I'll show you it will be a clean background just a white or a black colored background and we can easily remove that background quite quickly using a different method. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.